everybody. Thanks for joining me again today. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am just bringing you a small kit share and a small haul. I have these um, scrapbook and cards today monthly or quarterly kit that I got and I also got the Chamel um, June best of both worlds kit. So I just thought I'd hop on and share both of those with you. So I'm going to start with the scrapbooking cards today kit. So free with my order, I got a Spectrum Noir glitter pen in cool blue, which is kind of cool. I've never had one of these, so I'm happy to try that out. And I haven't ordered from scrapbooking cards today in a while, and I know their kits have changed several times in the past. Um, like they were for a long time offering add-ons and they had um, the card kit and the project life kit now I think they just have one main kit and that's it and I really liked it because it was a lot of the um, florals this time and it, it sold out really quick because it was gone when I looked the next day it was already gone so uh, the kit is called beautiful blooms and I'll flip it over and try and read what I can off of it so that you guys know what's what it is. But if you go to Scrapbook and Cards today, they also have the description box below. But like I said, I know it's already been um, sold out, but keep an eye out for their kits. They're nice. So in the kit, you automatically get blank cards that you can use, which is great for scraps. And I'm going to start with the papers and then we'll go over to the embellishments and let me see what I've got here oh, yep they're all paper let me just go ahead and put this stuff to the side real quick I'm just gonna push it over here so right here we have let me just make sure you guys are in focus and you are and excuse my little bit of a mess. I was going through papers and fussy cutting out a lot of stuff. So every once in a while I go through a mood where I want to fussy cut. And now I can see this one will be a lovely fussy cutting paper too. So um, this is Maggie Holmes Garden Party. This is, does it have a name for it? It's called Garden Stroll. It's black with white bows on this side. And this side is a ton of beautiful cut aparts. And like I said, I am in the middle of cutting apart all kinds of papers that I had in my stash, cameras, tickets, and all kinds of things that I like to have as ephemera. And so this will be one that I could see myself fussy cutting and having in my stash. The next one is also Garden Party by Maggie Holmes. This is Blooming. And so you have the, like a teal green in the background with the um, pink roses and then a checked pink. This is just screams Maggie Holmes. This one here is a blue, kind of a pattern. Um, I don't know what you call it, like a, almost looks like a quilt pattern. And on this side is cut aparts. And again, this would be great for um, embellishments and, and tucking in. And this is called Taking Notes. And this is also by Garden Party. We have a pink, uh, hello, a piece of pink cardstock. And this is Basil. And this is called, um, Come on, I know you guys, oh, Tutu Pink. So that's a great color of cardstock. Then we have a little bit of the Buenos Dias collection. So this is all just um, Spanish um, words and phrases. Um, perfecto, amore, um, I can't pronounce half of them. My friend would be laughing at me right now. I'll have her her translate. I won't butcher it anymore. And then um, this um, has the beautiful stripe paper I can see using this. And the name of this paper it looks like is a more, let me double check. It says, let's celebrate. And so then here's another piece of paper from Buenos Dias. And this one is all together. 
with this beautiful floral. It's on a light blue background with pinks and yellows and kind of that um, peachy color. And then this side is a beautiful yellow on yellow polka dot. Both sides are fun. Gonna love that. I have this piece of marble and it's all in the grays and the blue, bluish purples and the greens. And then this beautiful little daisy. And then this is also from Buenos Dias. And this is called Petals. I can probably use this side. I'm not a big marble person, but for an underneath or matting, it might not be bad. And let's see, we have kind of a goldenrod um, gingham with the beautiful goldenrod and pink flowers. This is Jen Hatfield reaching out. And this is called Blooms For You. And I really loved this kit when I saw it because it gave you such a, a little bit of all the collections that are out right now. So it's kind of fun. Um, this one is called um, Over the Rainbow, Reaching Out by Jen Hatfield. Again, it's the beautiful rainbows with a wood grain background and then the white florals on top. Love this and love the rainbows. And then I have this kind of an off-white with uh, black polka dots. And then you have the hearts, the flower hearts. This is also Jen Hatfield reaching out. And this is You Have My Heart. I could see maybe fussy cutting a few, but I really like this side as well. Good background or layering piece. Um, here is again that kind of a quilt pattern. And then the roses. And this is again Maggie Holmes Garden Party. And this is called Pink Rosebuds. This is just like classic Maggie Holmes right here. Um, here is little rosebuds again, or flower buds on a kind of a cream color. And then this beautiful, um, like a white, like a washed or watercolored background. And this is also from Garden Party, and this is called Sewn. I love this. It's kind of like that bleached wood or the, um, you know, if you whitewash something but with colors. Very pretty. I can tell without looking at it, this has got to be a Maggie Holmes with the, the beautiful flower or the, oh, the birds in a cream with black um, writing on it. And then the pink polka dots. And again, this is from um, Garden Party. And this, like I said, is just without even looking at it, it's classic Maggie Holmes. Then we have some more cardstock. This is Basil in um, Sparkle. It's kind of a off blue. And this, this side's kind of got a like a um, glitter kind of a schluck or um, it's not really glitter, it's sparkly. Um, and then you have, um, or shimmery, would you say that? I don't know. And then you have more of a flat background. This side's textured. Then we have this kind of a hot pink. And again, it's the shimmery look on this side. And this is called uh, Feather Boa, also from Basil. This has got the green side that's textured. And then this is more of a smooth side. It still has a little bit of a texture, but not as much. And I'm not sure who that's from because it's not a name on it. Let me see if they have it in here. Uh, it doesn't say. And then we have this um, cream colored. This is basil. This is called buttercream. And then we have this pink. And this is also basil and called mauve mauve ice and we have this greenish colored one and this is also basil and it's called atlantis and then we have white and this is their avalanche white and this one's also avalanche white so that is the papers so really cool papers in the kit i'm really happy with that and then let me give you something pretty to look at while we we'll go with the pink one here. So 
So then also in the kit, you get the enamel dots. And let me see if they say who they're from. Da -da. I'm trying to look and see here. Enamel dots are Echo Park, and this is their summer collection. So you just get um, like a strip of those. You get the thickers, and this has got to be probably Maggie Holmes. Um, and it is from, um, actually this is Crate Paper Fresh Bouquet Foam um, Stickers. So I love all the florals. You get the ephemera, the whole ephemera pack, and this is Maggie Holmes Garden Party. You get from Marigold the charms, and so they have bows, little swans, hearts, and bumblebees. So I'll have to find a way to put that on. Uh, you get a gold paper clip. It says two of them, so I'm sure they're somewhere in here. And two silk flowers. Where did he go? I know I saw another one. It's probably in my mess of stuff here. So you get the two silk flowers. There should be another paper clip. And then you get these fun thickers. These are from um, American Crafts Maggie. They're Maggie glitter thickers. And then you get the gold. Um, Phrase and accent stickers, and these are Maggie Holmes as well. And these are from the Mar Marigold. So this is my Scrapbook and Cards Today kit. Like I said, there is another paper clip and another flower floating around here somewhere. I will find them. Not sure where they went off to. Like I said, I have this whole mess over here of everything I'm fussy cutting. So I'm sure it got caught into some of that. And then from, put that to the side. And then from scrapbooking cards today, this is what Chamel has up for the June kit um, for her um, best of both worlds. So again, I'll go through the paper first. And then we'll go through the embellishments. So I'm just going to stick those to the side. And between the two, it was kind of neat because, again, it gave me a nice um, sampling of everything that is currently out there, I think. So that made me really happy to be able to um, get that. Oh, here's the other flower. There we go. Didn't find the paper clip, but that's okay. I've got lots of paper clips. So we have Paige Evans, and this is um, number 17 from her Wonders collection. And so it's a lot of journaling cards and cut aparts. And on this side is a beautiful, um, like, orange color. So there's that. And then some beautiful cocoa vanilla. So I have, and this is from Sunshine, and this one's called Summer Fun. So cute little branding strip orange with white polka dots, and then more rainbows. Love it, love it. Here is more of Cocoa Vanilla Sun Kiss. This is called Shine Bright. Yellow with the little squiggly lines. Cute little branding strip of the sun. And then all the little suns on this side. Nice, happy paper. This will be a fun layout. In fact, I have um, some pictures of my grandson playing um, recently outside and actually he was sw sleeping in the swing he fell asleep so that would be kind of cute to do a layout with him there um, I'm gonna put this one under because it's a sticker sheet so then we have um, Paige Evans wonder this is page number eight with all the butterflies and then the green it's kind of like a almost like a clover or flower but it's tone on tone so love that we have, this is Fairy Garden by Doodlebug, and this is called Rainbow Love. So it's just all the fun rainbows, and this side's all hearts. 
This is another doodle bug. And also from Fairy Garden, this is called Magical Meadows. So you have the cute green with all the leaves and the purple and orange flowers. This kind of reminds me of 70s in a way. And then you have the phrases here, you are my sunshine, you are one of a kind, um, love you more. So great um, background and it's in rainbow. So I could see this as being a background page. Let's see, then we have from Pink Fresh, uh, Keeping It Real, this is called Daily Grind. And this has got like a park bench, walk in the park, little pick-me-up, coffee cups, um, ice cream, enjoy. So fun little icons. And then this side is a beautiful yellow. I can see using this, but we'll see if I follow along with Chamel what she does. I can see her doing coffee cups. I might have to swap that out for a Diet Coke. <laughs> this is Paige Evans' uh, Wonder. This is page number 15. And this is a lot of your... Um, border strips on this side and then this fun blue geometric on this side then we have vicki Booten's color study fun um, circles it looks like she stamped it all and then it's distressed on the edges this is all in like a blue to green um, almost rainbow because you start out with the pinks and going down and then this is this fun watercolor background purpley pink with your little um, purpley blue starburst on it. So fun Vicky Booten. Another fun Vicky Booten. I'm thrilled to get some of this as well. This is also from Color Study. This is called Perspective. So you have all these tags and cut aparts. And then on this side is the um, rainbow swirly stripes in the pinks, in the yellows, in the whites, and the oranges. I could see using the cut aparts. We'll see again what Chamel does. This one is color study. This is dots and marks. So just a fun dotted background. And then this side is a beautiful pink with distressing. And it's got a little bit of like a check gingham kind of background in, in the back. This is another doodle bug. This is uh, also from Fairy Garden. And this is called Bug Babies. So cute little um, baby, um, it looks like um, caterpillars, little bumblebees, mushrooms, butterflies. So fun little characters. And then this pretty uh, plaid rainbow colored paper. Another Vicky Booten, also from Color Study. And this is your color wheel and it's called Color Wheel. And then on this side is this bright, vibrant, hot pink. And then she had us get the sticker sheet. This is from um, the Sunkissed collection from um, Simple Stories. Oh, were those other ones? Maybe these were Simple Stories. Hang on, hang on. I got all excited thinking Coco Vanilla. Oh, they're all simple stories. Sorry, my bad. It's all simple stories. So even more fun. So um, fun sticker sheet with the rainbows and all kinds of fun, fun summer icons. Then, uh, let's see. I'm just going to leave the cardboard up while we go through the embellishments. I think it, I was missing like one or two things that were on her list that... Um, scrapbooking cards today did not have in and so I'll try and go back or I'll try and find something comparable in my kit or my room stash that I can use um, instead. I forget which item it was that they didn't have. So these are from Pink Fresh. These are their cardboard stickers and this is from Keeping It Real. So like flowers, um, ready for a new chapter, coffee cup, so fun little icons, and they've got really nice to mention. Then you have Paige Evans, um, their, her banners, and these are dimensional stickers. So these are really fun, cute phrases. I got the Moroccan tile 
um, stencil that she had. And then I also got the, um, this is Happy Day, and I forget which collection this is from. Let me see if I can see it on my paper. Sorry, I'm trying to see which one it is. Um, this is Paige Evans' Wonder Collection, and it's her thicker phrases. So I got that. And this is the first time I've gotten that, so I'm kind of excited about seeing those. And then we also got the new Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Oxide and Salvaged Patina. I know that somebody on one of her lives had requested that she kind of um, get this one in the next um, for the June kit. So she came through for us. So that is it for my little bit of a haul. And I'm excited to try and um, get some things made with it. Um, I hope you're enjoying our um, hop this month with the uh, May I Scrap Lift You. So far, so good. I'm a little bit ahead of the game. And hopefully this weekend I can get a few more in. But I'm starting to get closer to where I'm going to be starting to have activities for my son's wedding coming up. So we'll see what happens. I know we've got some showers and things. So... I'm hoping to crank out a bunch for May, and then we'll see what happens in June. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by, and we will see you tomorrow with another May I Scrap Lift You. Have a great day, and thanks again for stopping by. Bye-bye.